Wow, good afternoon. Uh, good evening, what you prefer me to say? <laughs> Viewers, this is 5 o'clock in the evening. And we're here, Church of a Nazarene Barbados District Family Forum on a local TV station. She with you, as we often do every Sunday evening. We want to thank CBC for partnering with us as we would seek to touch lives on areas of importance to the family. We don't profess to know everything, but we are happy to share what we do know. Um, as I said, these sessions are discussion starters, we would hope. Um, and I just want to say to you, ultimately, all these sessions will be on Facebook and uh, YouTube in time. And you can go and pull them up and Discuss them in your churches, in your families. Because um, once the sessions are viewed, then later on they are placed on Facebook and YouTube. So you can have further discussion, discussions on them in your church group and uh, your clubs and so on. So we are sharing today, this is the second in the series um, on sexuality, sexual behavior. And uh, again, I have with me my co-host, Reverend Kelman. Very pleasant yes. evening to you, and thank you very much, Reverend Farley. Yes, the last session went very quickly. Mm -hmm. We know we touched some things. We didn't cover every possible area, but this right. evening we'll try to see some other, er other areas what we can cover. Mm -hmm. um, you want to say a prayer for us? Almighty God, we give you thanks this evening for being able to once again address the issue of sexuality. We pray, Almighty God, for your direction, pray for your enlightenment. We pray, Father, today that you'll be able to engage those who are viewed in a way that would prompt discussion and uh, maybe even change. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. Back with you in a moment. The Church of the Nazarene Family Forum, shaping our society for the future by enhancing our homes and securing our destiny. Come join us every Sunday at 5 p.m. on CBC TV 8 as we turn the spotlight on an aspect of family life of critical importance to us. Tune in and be blessed. Okay, we're back with you. Don't forget, call a friend, relative, your hazi or your boyfriend or girlfriend, your teenage children. We want to zero in on this important topic of sexuality, sexual behavior. Let me read a verse from 1 Corinthians chapter 6, um, two or three verses, and then we will launch into the discussion. Um, from verse 12 says, as it relates to sexual immorality, everything is permissible for me, Paul says, but not everything is beneficial. Everything is permissible for me, but I will not be mastered by anything. Food for the stomach and the stomach for food. But God will destroy them both. The body is not meant for sexual immorality, but for the Lord and the Lord for the body. I'm all full, Reverend Kelman. Quite a bit, yes. yes. Um, and of course, it, it talks about uh, the whole <coughs> issue of of maintaining that ever purity sexually. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what we have to keep teaching and preaching. Mm -hmm. I know it is a hard pill to swallow for some individuals, but yes. it's the word. Mm -hmm. uh, and for the last time we began to talk about the whole issue of, <coughs> of gender roles, um, because we don't want to narrow sexuality just simply to, to sex, but, mm -hmm. uh, but all the other tenant issues, things like, yes. like gender, you know, mm -hmm. um, uh, the, 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 uh, how, how, how culture assigns you know, different responsibilities in terms of gender, gender roles, you know, um, you want to look at things like, you know, the, the new movement whereby persons can um, determine, you know, their, their own uh, identity, you know, uh, in terms of who they want to be, what they want to represent, uh, and how that impacts also in terms of the church, you know, as we think about elements of masculinity and femininity, you know, what wants to define those concepts uh, how that has changed and evolved over time, mm -hmm. and uh, and therefore how does that 
what does that tie into the whole issue of the family structure? Yes. You know, um, you know, usually or in the past men got their sense of mastery from their superior power in terms of, of earning, earning power. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, um, so how, how does that now impact the family yeah. with reference to uh, that changing that changing role? Mm -hmm. um, are men still required um, to be the ones that that lead? A lead, no, not in lead, <laughs> because because they have asked, what, what was the content of leadership now? Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. uh, men before saw leadership as being the one who could provide for their families, mm -hmm. uh, but now we know that that, that, that that is changing, changing rapidly. Yes. Mm -hmm. Then what they know becomes the content mm -hmm. of a man's um, uh, idea of leadership in terms of his family, mm -hmm. and and of course some may even argue <coughs> it is still relevant. You know, mm -hmm. um, or are we partners not necessarily? Uh, equal partners. Equal partners. Mm -hmm. or, or being, being but you know, we, we talk about, as you said, the word of God is our bedrock. Um, in Ephesians, it speaks about the whole idea that man is the head of a family as Christ is the head of the church. Mm -hmm. Again, a proposition that today's um, people, persons, may not want to swallow. Yeah. You know, I, I had an interesting discussion many years ago, mm -hmm. and um, that topic came up, mm -hmm. and actually it was, it was, it was a church panel discussion, mm -hmm. and um, uh, there were a number of people on the panel, mm -hmm. and they were vehemently opposed to what I said. Mm -hmm. I said, I said, well, you know, a family is an institution, mm -hmm. and uh, every institution has a head, mm -hmm. right? I, I said, in, in, the, in the context of headship, uh, there, may be some, there will be some sharing, mm -hmm. but one person is accountable. Yes. Right. And um, but that is still very critical. And they got upset. I, 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 I know they say, well, you know, um, every church has a head. Mm -hmm. Every school has a head. Mm -hmm. Every country has a head. Yes. You know, mm -hmm. um, how that head functions yes. will, be will be determined in terms mm -hmm. of me, in terms of their personality mm -hmm. and stuff. But, but from the very beginning. Um, but, 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 but they were opposed to that last year. Yeah. But from the very beginning, God talks about the help me. So the woman being complimentary it doesn't mean her role is less important, right? But if, but, you, but the man has a head too. Because if we, if we are hearing from God, but that's the, th that's the beautiful thing about it. Why would a woman not wouldn't want to submit if her husband is hearing from God? He is accountable for the family. Mm -hmm. and, and that's the word though that I think we need to <coughs> emphasize, accountability. Yes. Right? Um, he is accountable too. And, and that's <laughs> what, and that's what assigns to me, the, the whole role of, of, of hedge of leadership. Yes. The fact that the man under God's economy, yes. and not I say God's economy, you know, is, is accountable. And he covers. He like covers his family. And, and, and I think that's where we need to emphasize, even as we do yeah. premarital counseling yes, and, yes. And, and we engage persons, mm -hmm. that, that, that the role of the, of the male um, is one of accountability. Yeah, and he's that mediator between God and the family. So a priest. Yeah, you know, the priest, and, uh, the king. And, 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 so, and so those have become um, very... So, 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 so even in terms of, of ensuring that the family functions well, yes. you know, and it doesn't mean bossmanship. No, no. Because, it's because, not about dominance. Because you share that with your, with your partner, yes, with your wife. Sure. You share that. I mean, a man is quite unwise if he's not prepared to listen to the council and right. the suggestion but of his it's, wife. It's accountability. It, it is the same way that, yeah, that, yeah. that uh, someone who's at a school, mm -hmm. you know, would understand the, the importance of having a uh, a administration team yes. that, that, that they listen to that, yes. that, that, they, that they feed it to, mm -hmm. you know, uh, as they make decisions. Yes. Uh, so it is in terms of the context. Because I think we have a perspective now where people are trying to see, okay, well, the woman is a co-leader. And, 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 and that seemed to be safe, a safe place to go. Right. But I, I am very passionate about that because I, the whole idea of a man being a leader and hearing from God because I say it from the perspective of he being that person that Satan must get through me first. That's how he say it. He Satan must get through me first. Stand I'm standing in the gap. At the, at the door. Yeah, the door. for my family. Yes. So therefore he has to depend on God. Yes. But, but you know, <laughs> we, we also need to, 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 be, to, be, oh, to, to, to be aware mm -hmm. of where is the word uh, that there are some situations where the, the males in the family do not necessarily um, understand their role. Yes. And, and therefore, um, the females have to assert themselves yes. 
you know, if this that world, happens a lot, if, it, if, it, if, it, if it's going to function, mm -hmm. it's so true. We're, not, we're not unaware of, yes. our, of our reality on the ground. But we're talking about reality in terms of what we want to aim for. Yes, right. Yes, right. Yes. And, and I think that boys need to be taught this. You know um, that there was critical. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not. It's not the big bad wolf kind of syndrome no. that, that that many years ago persons um, I, I believed in, mm -hmm. uh, where you walk around and uh, your chest in the air and uh, everyone's screaming around you. No, you're, you're the general, right? No, that's not talking about <laughs> at all, and that's no. not scriptural. No, you know, uh, that's not scriptural because that leads to all kind of abuse, all yes. kind of other, other issues. Mm -hmm. We're talking about. Um, care. Leadership that is focused on care. As, as Christ cares yes. for the church. Yes. And the fact, the Bible says, yes. comparatively speaking, Christ gave his life yes. for the church. So that's the kind of perspective, the kind of man that we want to be. Right. And that's important for us to, to know, though, because mm -hmm. we're talking about the, about the evolution of roles, you yes. know, our gender roles. Mm -hmm. And uh, we mentioned in the last program um, that, you know, women are, are, are they're becoming more, coming strong economically, I mean, very, very strong. Yeah. Because we look at what we have in Barbados now, we have a prime minister who's a female, we have a devil general who's a female. Mm -hmm. uh, so women are, are definitely uh, in their ascendancy there. Mm -hmm. they're, they're, doing, they're doing very, very well, mm -hmm. you know, in that regard. And so we must understand it doesn't make us less of a leader. No. It just changes the content of the leadership yes. uh, in, our, in, our, in, our, in our context. Mm -hmm. Now, the other issue which I, which I mentioned earlier, which I want <coughs> to talk about very, very quickly, is how do we treat as a church, though? Um, to individuals who may say to us, you know, that yes, I am a male physically, but I feel so much like a female. How, how, do, how, do, we, mm -hmm. how do we how do we treat those situations? And, and let me also say to you though that in terms of the whole genetics of, of, of the matter, mm -hmm. um, we we have a, a 2021 uh, publication um, by a guy called. About, a, about two guys called Shurev and Levy in uh, 2021 across cultural um, issues. And what they said is that we now know that there's something called um, a Masoic genetics, where there are individuals who possess both X and Y um, chromosomes um, in terms of, of their own genetic makeup. So they have, they have XX and XY mm -hmm. in, the, in the same in the same. Mm -hmm. um, individual, mm -hmm. and as you know, the excess is a female, the XY is a male. Mm -hmm. So there are persons who have that that rare mm -hmm. um, 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 issue. Yeah. How do we treat those those kind of mm -hmm. persons? Though, but thankfully, as we say, it's rare. <laughs> it's rare. It exists, but it's rare. Yeah. And therefore, I mean, I think the whole idea is, is, is it is it is it rare because persons don't admit to it? Well, that may be true. And 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 maybe the the occurrence of it is 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 more than we than we think because yes. persons know that they're gonna be. Maligned, ostracized, ostracized, so, so they yeah. keep themselves quiet, mm -hmm. you know, and therefore we don't we don't see the full manifestation. Yeah. I think we in the church have to be educated about these things. Mm. Don't bury your heads in the sand, and um, we have to be prepared to listen, counsel, hear people's concerns, um, because sometimes we, we shut people down, um, and and, and the times that we are unaware of some of these situations. I know that the, the, the contention goes on uh, when it comes to sexuality as to the impact of culture and the impact of biology, the nurture, and nurture. And, nurture. and that will also always be um, a, a, a debate, I suppose. But, but I spoke to the whole issue of the whole intersex issue mm -hmm. um, and the whole issue of, of genetics, but, but even, even beyond that, you know, I uh, refer we have to consider the whole idea of homosexuality, you know, yes. um, in terms of that context. Mm -hmm. um, uh, lesbianism and, and persons who uh, feel a very strong orientation mm -hmm. um, to, to persons of the, of, the, of, the same, of the same sex. And, and even though we, we, we have, you know, a biblical uh, a mandate with that is concerned, the truth of the matter is that uh, when we evangelize, we're going to catch different kinds of fish, yes. and and so how do we how do we yeah. how do we deal with those persons, mm -hmm. and how do we handle persons who will say to us that I've always felt this way, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. you know, uh, it is not a case where the person uh, has has adopted this lifestyle because no. of mm -hmm. maybe they want to get richer, has rich to do with or, feeling, it, yeah. they really feel, mm -hmm. and they don't have an interest in, in person of the opposite yeah. sex, mm -hmm. you know. But are people comfortable to say these things? Well, we, both of us, both of us are counselors. And we know 
the inner realm of counseling that we have had to encounter such um, counseling. But persons are still very hesitant to share intimate stuff of this nature and, and, if it appears to be deviant. And, and, and this should not be yeah. in terms of the church. Yeah. But uh, aren't we in the church, sometimes we in the church, um, our behavior is the reason why people are afraid to come. And that's the point I'm making, though. Yeah, so how, how open should we be? That's the point I'm making. The point I'm making, though, is that, is that if, if we're going to minister to people, yes. uh, uh, then we need to be able to create a kind of, of safe environment. Yes, yes, you know, um, yes. And it may not be a safe environment in terms of the entire church, per se, mm -hmm. but maybe some grouping, some... Yes. Um, a lot of so, people can share. Some small group. Yes. Where persons can share their struggles. And, mm -hmm. and I, I want to say to you, Reverend Farley, and a few years ago, we did a, a discussion at Bank Hall. I think um, it was then when um, Pastor Taylor uh, mm. was the Senate School Superintendent and on the issue of homosexuality. And the church was packed, yes. you know. Um, mm. and, and what came in that, in that discussion was that the, 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 the problem or the challenge, sorry, in the church is far greater mm -hmm. than you want to acknowledge. Yes. Uh, but because we have a very condemnatory stance, mm -hmm. Then persons don't experience their own healing mm -hmm. because yes. they can't really share. But well, it's not about condemning condemnation, but it has to be a compassion. Yes. And listening and grace. Mm -hmm. Because I, I believe that God is able to help persons. There's nothing beyond the power of God's grace. Mm -hmm. Um help persons who are having issues with homosexuality. That we have to make this make it possible that persons who are having any issues, just like people who have issues who are heterosexual, with their sexual life, they will come and tell you that. Mm -hmm. We have to make it possible that persons who are having any issues are uh, fighting. And as you said, sometimes they don't, they don't have a homosexual life per se, but these are the feelings they're having. And they don't know how to explain them, don't know who anyone to share them with. And, uh, Sometimes in the church, we don't make room for that kind of dialogue and discussion. And, and you know, and contrary to, to, to proper belief, yeah, the church is a very important um, artery mm -hmm. in helping persons with their sexuality. Yes. As a matter of fact, I did some reading recently. Um, I think it's a, it's a research done by, they call um, the Favor, you know, and it was quoted by, by Smack in an article looking at religiosity. And, and person's health in terms of, of sexual um, um, differences. And what they found was that uh, some segments of that study said that it was very useful to them yes. in helping them to be able to, mm -hmm. to understand and to work through their own right, true. Their yes. sexuality. So, mm -hmm. so we have a role, though, to play yes. uh, for the, in, in nurturing persons, mm -hmm. for them to understand, but also to teach them as, as well yes. um, God's power and God's is ability important. Yes. Uh, to, 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 to help them in their own um, sexuality crisis. And therefore, we can't come over as a church shouting across yes. at them. We have to be able to provide an environment where there is dialogue. Engagement. Engagement. Yes. Um, as I said, not condemnation, in the yes. engagement, compassion. Yes. Um, I, I, I normally say a, a hand of steel in the velvet glove. Yes. Yes, you must maintain mm -hmm. the authority of God's word. Mm -hmm. But there must be there must be room for that sense of, mm -hmm. of inter interchange and interconnection yeah. and discussion. But well, Reverend Kelman, again, I, I refer to the fact that we are both counselors, and uh, we obviously understand confidentiality. But we we f we would we would agree that a lot of times persons who come with presenting issues of homosexuality, and even deviance in terms of their sexual life, a lot of it originates in their childhood or in their teenage years, mm -hmm. would have had serious experiences where sometimes it has been kept secret. Oh, bad relationships. Bad relationships. Some cases where, yeah. uh, where, where, where women have become lesbian because of, of men who have abused them constantly yes. over the years. Yes. You know, mm -hmm. and, um, and they're hurting. Hurting, You right. know, and they need to, to have a measure um, of healing. But because we have this this big X mm -hmm. on our church doors, yes. uh, not, not physical X, of course, yes. you know, um, but our, our attitudes, mm -hmm. then persons don't feel 
um, that yeah. they have the right or, mm -hmm. or or the ability to engage the other, other talk to us. Right. But we're, we're, we're in a struggle. Yes. But the church is, is a healing mm -hmm. institution. You know, we, we have to project uh, that. We are a life-saving station. Mm -hmm. and, um, and therefore, we must be willing to get into the, the murk, you know, and, uh, and, and help to rescue persons from, mm -hmm. from their own situations. Mm -hmm. And because we want to, we want to make it <laughs> quite clear, just like how we talk about drug addiction, there are persons who are addicted to sex, and just like drugs can destroy people's lives and destiny, mm -hmm. um, illegal drugs and, and so on, sexual addiction equally can cause serious problems. Of course, I mean in terms of their destiny. Yeah, and and there are all kind of different kinds of. Um, I mean, sexual addictions, I mean, mm -hmm. um, and, 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 and deviations as well, too. Yes. Right? And, and even to the church, I mean, mm -hmm. these are the pedophiles. I mean, yes. you have those persons who become the church, maybe part of our, of our, of our Sunday schools. That's why uh, the Church of Nazarene has a, has a stigma about that in mm -hmm. terms of people who, who work with children, mm -hmm. right? But, but we have to be able um, to, to, to understand um, those individuals in a way that allows them to experience healing yes. and without doing further damage to themselves yes. uh, or to others. Mm -hmm. yes. Of course, the whole idea of pornography, that's another area of um, concern. What is your take on that one in terms of, because sometimes that is also in the church as well. Well, that, that, that's, a, that's a whole discussion mm -hmm. of itself. Mm -hmm. whole, I've uh, even heard of sometimes some pastors who secretly have been are victims in that area because um, we, we cannot say that we are exempted for anything. Yes. We have, because I think that's the problem where we may give the impression we are exempted, but we are as vulnerable as anybody else. In yes. fact, as leaders, mm -hmm. we have to be aware of the temptation um, to, 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 you know? Yeah, and, and, and the need as well, though, for, mm -hmm. for leadership to have um, their own support mm -hmm. mechanisms as well, too. Yes. You know? yes. Um, because you're, you're right, though. Um, sometimes we, too, because of our own um, childhood, mm -hmm. uh, our own um, traumatic experiences, we, we too have not worked through some of those issues. Have, thought, you know? have not worked through some of those issues. And, and because of our position of power, mm -hmm. it makes it easier for us yes. um, to do it and get away with it as well yes. too. Unfortunately, you know? but the challenge get away with the comments. Yeah, but the challenge was <laughs> that when we, when we, when we get when we get caught, mm -hmm. then the, the, the damage, the shame, and damage it does yes. to the body. Yes, um, at times can be. Devast it devastating. devastating. Yeah. So, so we're here to be real. Yes. Um, these things happen right in the church. Yes. And therefore, there are issues that we have to deal with. Yes. While we're going to have a short break and we'll come back. Viewers, back with you in a moment. The Church of the Nazarene Family Forum. Shaping our society for the future by enhancing our homes and securing our destiny. Come join us every Sunday at 5 p.m. on CBC TV 8 as we turn the spotlight on an aspect of family life of critical importance to us. Tune in and be blessed. Well, welcome back, viewers. Um, this has been a, a very interesting discussion of authority. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. um, yes. And one which has brought up so many issues in terms of sexuality. Mm -hmm. uh, there, there are two, though, two issues I want us to kind of, uh, kind of comment on, and that has to do with the, the, the moral fluidity mm -hmm. of, of, of gender. Mm -hmm as well as uh, what I see as the international um, orchestrated uh, push to get into our minds mm -hmm. uh, the different kinds of families yes. um, that, that, that exist out there. Mm -hmm. and, um, and, and as you, as you know, um, we are having um, situations where uh, parents are deciding that even though um, this little boy or girl may have um, the, the organ uh, genitalia that represents uh, maybe a, a, a boy, mm -hmm. they, they decide that they want her to be uh, a, a girl, girl. And vice versa. You know, um, mm -hmm. or, or him to be a girl, you know, yeah. and vice versa, mm -hmm. right? And, and so um, the element of, of sexual fluidity is, is, is coming in. Mm -hmm. And, 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 and I, I want to see what the implications, though, mm -hmm. of that with reference to you know uh, the confusion that that can that can emerge mm -hmm. because one day your boy and the next day your girl mm -hmm. you know uh, of course not so dramatically but mm -hmm. I'm talking about that whole change process what yes. are your thoughts on that well I, I think 
to my mind, I, I see eventually it can destabilize society. And family as well. And family, family life. And yes. um, I, I, I assume that adults may be able to grapple with these, um, these things. But to expect a young child to understand that kind of thinking is so difficult. Yeah. And of course, as, you, as we mentioned, the whole idea of um, now you have children being able to view in their children's programs on, right. on the media where, where the same problem occurs. But, but more than that, you know that, that, that you can also, in some countries, acquire a birth certificate that will have the gender, your, your assumed gender. Mm -hmm. So you can very well have a case where um, this person is born a um, uh, uh, a female, you know, with all of the ovaries and um, genitalia um, that females have, mm -hmm. um, but then only the way has become a male and, and, and now possess a birth certificate mm -hmm. that says that, that they're male. Mm -hmm. and, uh, which, which would be a decision made by the parent? Oh, it could be a person as well, too. Mm -hmm. right, the person as well, too. But my, 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 my concern... I'm talking about in initial stages, if a parent were to do that. It, it could be How fair is that to the, how to, fair is to, that the to the child? But, but my, my greater point, though, is that um, when they come to us from, from marriage, yes. you, know, um, mm -hmm. you know, how do we know for sure that we're marrying a male and a female yes. and not mm -hmm. uh, uh, a male and a male? Yeah. You know, because one time, by, by, by the appearance, or maybe the, the name alone will say, well, this is a female, but, but things have changed. Things have changed. Things and, have and changed. And that's part of the whole mm -hmm. uh, evolution of gender as well. Yeah, the know? whole idea of the fluidity. Yeah, we have names that, that, that can go both ways. Both ways. You know, years ago. Yeah. And it's still very rare. You, mm -hmm. you knew for sure that this name was this name. This is John. Yeah. yeah you this know, is Jerry. Jerry. Yeah. yeah. But now we have names that you can't really, you can't really tell. tell. Yeah. You know, and as, mm -hmm. as possible, do a lot, do a lot of dedication of babies. Yeah. You, you hear some names that, you know, yeah. that you can't really put an mm -hmm. agenda um, to that name. So how do you dedicate a baby that you know is a girl, but they're asking you to dedicate as a, as a boy? And I think, that, I think that, that's what the challenge. What's the challenge for us? Yeah, as possible, because yeah. we have to struggle with it yeah. and think through carefully. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, how do, how do we handle when, yeah. mm -hmm. um, when a family is, is a, a same-sex family? Mm -hmm. You know, two men or, or two women who bring a child to us that they've adopted. Yes. You know, and, dedicate. and say to us, we want to dedicate it. Mm -hmm. how, do we, how do we treat that? I think those yes. are issues that mm -hmm. we've got to be willing to, um, to, to engage around. Because, yes. because and, and, and some will argue that the child is innocent mm -hmm. and to, to the whole mm -hmm. reality. Mm -hmm. how, how, how do we deal with that? Yeah, those are issues that we have to confront. Yes. And how do we, in, in, in our Barbarian culture, marry two women or marry two men? Yeah. That's, I, that's a challenge. I, I mean, think, that's another discussion. I think yeah. another discussion. Yeah. And, and I, I, think, I think the church is pretty clear that once you know, mm -hmm. but then the debate, the debate. But there's some churches that will do it. Yeah? yeah? So the, the, the double standards within the context of the church yeah. is preventing some challenges. Yeah, so we have to kind of... You know, even as a church, we get our act together mm -hmm. with reference to what we're going to stand for. Yeah. But you know, as we conclude, um, Reverend Kelman, I really believe, I'm not trying to be simplistic, but these are the signs of the end times. Mm -hmm. um, no, no two ways about that. These are the signs of, uh, of the end times. And, and therefore, we don't have to be, shouldn't, shouldn't be alarmed, but prepare ourselves not to conform to what the world is presenting, but at the same time to be compassionate and see how we can help lead people to Christ. And, and I think that the overarching principle has to be love. Yes. And uh, grace. Grace. Right. And, and Coupled uh, with education. And, and, and <laughs> you know, to kill a mockingbird is a, is a statement that if you don't, if you can't, if you don't walk a mill and mass moccasins, mm -hmm. you really can't understand that yes. man. And I think that, that the church uh, has to, you know, dismount our high horse mm -hmm. and be able to engage persons yes. in a way that allows them to, over, to be mm -hmm. open and share yes. with us. Well, thank you so much. Well, viewers, this, these are topics, of course, that we'll come back to sometime, but I trust that it has been beneficial to you. I want to end by saying that we believe the Holy Spirit can help us to grapple with some of these issues. He's here to help us to minister to the world. Father, we thank you for this occasion where we were able to look at some of these critical issues relating to 
sexuality and sex, sexual behavior. We pray, God, even as persons will listen and think about their own sexuality, that truly we remember that we are temples, we are your temples, and you want us to be able to reflect that by our behavior in general. We pray you bless those out there in Radio Land and those who are having issues with their sexuality, that they realize that there's nothing beyond you. And uh, we in the church provide a safe environment that real change can take place. We give you thanks, Lord, this evening, for Christ's sake. Amen. God bless you. God bless you.